What's up, everybody? This is Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. back here again on the video podcast, and I wanted to share something with you uh, this week that's been in my spirit. One of the things I feel like steals the supernatural or miracles from people's lives, not so much unbelief, and it's not even uh, the fact that the enemy's coming in to steal or anything like that. One of the things that I see right now in this generation, more than anything else, that steals the miraculous power of God from people's lives is disinterest. People that are disinterested in what God's doing. They they believe God can do great things. They believe in miracles. People believe that God is good, but people are just disinterested in what God is doing. I wanna read you something from the Word of God today and get this into your heart and into your spirit. It's the book of Revelation, chapter three, verses 15 and 16. Look what the Bible says. I know all the things you do, this is Jesus speaking to the church, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other, but since you are like lukewarm water, neither hot or cold, I will spew you or spit you out of my mouth. You know, I looked up that word lukewarm And it's actually the word picture there is someone who goes on from being on fire in love with somebody to go and not really being that interested in the person. I'm sure you've dealt with people like that in your life. One day they're all for you, the next day they could care less about you. God said, I don't want you to react that way to my kingdom and the things that I'm doing in your life. I want a fire to burn in your heart and a passion to come alive on the inside of you. The Bible declares in Matthew chapter five and verse six, Jesus says this, blessed, are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. The Bible, what the word filled there means is they will be satisfied and saturated with good things. You are blessed when you hunger and thirst after righteousness. It is time for us to ask the Lord to give us a fire and a passion to do the work of God and to live for the Lord with everything that's on the inside of us. We are living in the last of the last days. We got to determine in our heart, I will not be lukewarm about God's things in my life and about the kingdom of God. I will not be tossed and driven based on what's going on in my life, but I will go after the things of God with everything in me. Today, Lord, give us a passion for the things of God. We hunger and we thirst after righteousness. And you know what our promise is? We will be filled and satisfied by heaven. Listen, remember, signs and wonders, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I love you. I'll see you again next week.